Raphael, the first boss encounter in Warlord's Ruin, can be farmed solo from a fresh start in as little as only 2 minutes. And now that the dust has settled, it turns out some of the Warlord's Ruin loot is worth chasing, especially the sidearm. Raphael themselves dropped a combination of the sidearm, bow and sword. The only weapon missing is the sniper, which is the weakest of the bunch anyway, so a perfect farm. But how can times like this be achieved? By using the very well balanced Dran Titan subclass. There's two ways to go with this, an easy to execute two phase, or a more complex but rewarding one phase. Both are consistent with practice, and I will cover them both, but if you've not played with Dran Titan a lot, this first setup might be a better place to start. So for the consistent two phase, here is what you will need to use. The armor exotic Sympaceps, and the weapon exotic tractor cannon. Keeping a legend of Acris on hand is also recommended too, as it can clutch a two phase should things not go so well. And a legendary one two point shotgun. I highly recommend Swordbreaker. Artifact mods you will need to run, solo operative and from whence you came. If using a sword breaker, also use Unraveling Orbs and Horde Shuffle. And of course, the standard Banner of War setup for subclass aspects and fragments. Full list on screen now, pause if you wish to copy. Getting to DPS, it is as standard. Begin with a melee kill to kickstart Banner of War, then keep it active with further kills. Though, be sure to hold charge melees and grapples, as you will need both of these for DPS. When caged, it is very important to escape ASAP since two totem captures are critical. The Acolyte Eyes will always spawn at eye level a little higher than higher still. Capture both totems utilising towering barricade to block line of sight with a boss, while also not killing too many adds here as some will be needed for Sympaceps. And now you are ready for damage phase. The damage phase rotation is a simple ability dump. But I cannot stress enough how it is critical to execute it in this order. A few abilities you can afford to miss, but thankfully it's all easy to use abilities and weapons. By the end of the first damage phase, you are looking for around two thirds of Raphael's entire health bar depleted. So here's the order you should always execute. First a tractor cannon shot, then a one two punch shotgun shot into a grapple melee. Then another 1-2 punch shotgun into two charge melees. Another 1-2 punch shotgun into your final charge melee. Reapply tractor cannon. Then dump your entire super starting with one heavy attack into three light attacks and repeat. After the super's finished, another 1-2 punch shotgun into two charge melees. By this time the damage phase will be done. And the flow graph here seems more complicated than it really is in practice. The aim is dumping abilities with 100% tractor cannon uptime for the debuff it provides. One two punch stacks with Symphoseps and Banner of War for high melee damage. Symphoseps also provides 50% additional super damage. So after that it's rinse and repeat up to the second damage phase. This time you will not have the super blade fury available, but hopefully you have already done enough damage to mop up the remaining health without issue. And the damage rotation is exactly the same as before, up until you would activate your super previously. If the boss has low health at this point, just do a few more 1-2 punch shots into regular melees. This will be enough. But if the boss has more than say, 1 tenth of its health remaining, a quick swap to Legend of Acrius can redeem the two phase. The rotation here is just one uncharged melee into two Acrius shots in repeat. So now then, the one phase. The premise is quite similar, but instead we'll be utilising a set grapple point to spam the 1-2 punch grapple melee combo. This requires a few changes. First, the armor exotic Sympaceps will be replaced with Worm God Caress, as these provide a higher maximum melee damage multiplier. A navigator will also be used as it's required to create a grapple point, but a tractor cannon is also still a must. So this means having both in inventory is also a must. You could swap weapons, but I prefer to swap loadouts as it's less clicks required. Here's the two loadouts I use. In getting to damage phase, there's a few differences. You will need a grapple point ready. I prefer to deploy one of these as I'm capturing the totems, as this will ensure it is still active when the damage phase begins. I try to deploy it as close to directly above where Raphael will be standing. Aiming the grapple point straight up is the easiest method to use 
due to how grapple melee does not reliably activate unless grappling vertically. Between deploying a grapple point and the beginning of damage phase, you will need to swap loadouts to one with both a tractor cannon and one two-punch shotgun. I also do this while capturing totems, deploy a barricade while doing so for safety. You should also be hitting adds when convenient with melees all throughout pre-damage to maintain burning fist stacks, but regardless these stacks will automatically refresh themselves during damage due to the AoE hits from grapple melee. The damage rotation here is simple, but requires practice to execute correctly. Miss the grapple point and it's probably a two phase minimum, but the aim assist on the grapple point after first connection is very generous. So here's a rotation you should use. First apply tractor cannon, then one two punch shotgun into a grapple point grapple melee, and then repeat shotgun into grapple melee four more times. After this quickly reapply tractor cannon, then go back to shotgun into grapple melee until the boss dies. So it's essentially as simple as tractor cannon, five one two punch combos, reapply tractor, then more one two punch combos. It seems easy enough right? And it is for me now, but it did take a bit of practice. So what I mean is, don't be put off if it doesn't work immediately. To complete the full two minute loop, a lot of that will also be getting to the boss from a fresh load. Here's the path I take. The big time save here is grappling up the mountain instead of taking the winding path around. Then using Eager Edge to speed up things in general. This run isn't perfect, but still got the job done. And finally, a few more kind of general tips. Once you are sent to prison and the loot is on the floor next to the chest, you can orbit or restart. The loot will be sent to the postmaster, so there's no need to solve a prison puzzle. Grapple point's duration is refreshed whenever you grapple to it. So if you prefer, you could set a grapple point pre-boss fight and just grapple to it every once in a while. This stops the need to swap loadouts bid encounter, but I did find it easier just to swap. When stuck in the cages, you could use a danger zone rocket shot to destroy the three acolyte eyes. This sometimes only takes out two out of three, depending on spawn locations, but sometimes it's an immediate escape. Charged melees can be regained quicker by maintaining woven mail from orbs of power, and using the aspect into the fray. Tangles can also be generated without using abilities by using a strand weapon with the artifact mod unraveling orbs active. So that's for lot. I'll let this run play out now for a full unedited loop. Thank you for watching.